Hey everyone! So in this quick video I'm going to show you how I achieve the perfect apex. Here I'm quickly sanitizing all my metal instruments with micro seed. I'm just quickly puffing them and then set them aside for when I have to use them. And now I'm sanitizing my hands. If you would do this on a client's hands then obviously make sure you sanitize yours and your client's nails as well. And then with a cuticle pusher, just push your cuticles and please make sure don't use a cuticle remover because they do contain uh, a lot of oils which will create your lifting problems um, later on. And with a 150 by 150 grid file, just take off your old gel. Obviously I was out of focus so I had to skip forward. Uh, now I'm dusting off. And with my one, 180 by 180 grid file, I'm just prepping the natural nail around the cuticle area. This file is very smooth to your natural nail and it's not going to damage it. Obviously, if you use it correctly, uh, dust it off. And with a wooden file, I'm just going to shorten the free edge of my nail. Uh, I'm doing this because um, if you leave your nail long, then that will uh, give you some trouble when you try to fit your nail form. So, as I said, make sure your free edge is as short as possible. Okay, now I'm dusting off again and I'm going to prep the um, cuticle area with my electric file and that's my pointy drill bit. So I'm going from left to right, first of all, and then I'm changing the rotation and I'm going uh, right to left. And now with a round cuticle uh, bit, I'm just going to clean the dry skin around my nail. Please make sure you don't use this bit for your on your nail because uh, it might damage it. And here with the cuticle uh, pusher, I'm just making sure that there is no uh, skin left on my nail. Okay, now I'm using nail prep and I'm waiting for it to dry. And after the nail prep is dried, I'm using Primer Strong. And this will create the perfect adhesion between the gel and the nail. And while my Primer Strong is... Um, dry. Uh, I'm just showing you my base gel. I'm using a flat brush and just applying it as thin as possible. Less is more when it comes to base gel. Okay and I'm just curing it for 30 seconds in my CCFL lamp. And here I'm showing you how I place my nail form. Obviously the nail form wasn't suitable for the shape of my natural nail, so I had to do some small adjustments. Um, always make sure you don't cut too much, better cut twice rather than one time and too much, if that makes sense. Okay, and now I'm just making some more adjustments on the nail form. Um, Pinching it, making sure I'm going to have a final thin extension. Okay, and now it's time to build the clear extension. Usually I would use clear builder gel in medium. This time I'm just mixing it with a tiny bit of white. Um, just so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So it's only for the purpose of the video. Normally I wouldn't use it with white gel. Okay, so you just apply the gel in the stress point of the nail and then you go lower on the side walls. Make sure you don't follow the lines on the nail form, otherwise your nail won't uh, be the correct shape. And when using the... Um, builder gel, 
the only point where you're allowed to have more gel is a stress point. So obviously make sure that the side walls and the tip of the nail and also on the natural nail you, you won't have uh, too much gel. So I've cured it for 30 seconds in my lamp and here I'm showing you my Makeup Builder gel. As you can see it doesn't move. Um, to use it you just um, grab a bit of gel, place it on the, in the middle of the nail and then slowly start pushing it towards the cuticle area and the side walls. As you can see this gel is very thick, it doesn't run and usually I use it on four nails at a time without flash curing. Here I'm applying a second layer just to make sure that my apex is going to be nice and straight and I'm making sure that my nail form is still tight. Okay, so quick adjustment on the apex as you can see apex or what's called the upper arch is parallel to the lower arch as well and making sure that everything is in place and curing for 90 seconds now with some cleanser on a pad i'm just pinching the nail um, make sure you don't pinch the natural nail pinch just the extension and then it won't hurt and when you remove the tacky layer make sure to remove the tacky layer from underneath the nail as well otherwise all that dust from the filing is gonna get stuck in there and for the purpose of the video i'm just using this marker pen um just so you can see exactly where to file and uh, with my 150 by 150 uh, grid file i'm just quickly gonna show you the steps of filing so first of all you file the free edge then you file the apex and then you file the side walls that um, both side walls of the nail have to be parallel to each other okay after you do that you have to uh, file round from each side wall to the apex and once that's done you have to go and file round around the cuticle area and then with your uh, 100 grid file, a uh, wooden file, you just go in and file those um, um, lower arches and you make sure that they're parallel with the apex. I'm so out of focus. Uh, promise I'll try and find a better way of uh, recording these videos, but for now that's the best I could do. Okay, so once you finish with your 150 file, then you go to 180, follow the same steps again. And here I'm just checking the thickness of the tunnel. Lifting it off, and you don't have to file. You don't don't file too much. Sometimes you will have to file from underneath the nail, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment in one of the corners of the nail, as you can see here. dusting off there's a c-curve and now just buff it hard um, side of the buffer first 100 grit and after you finish then you go with a smooth side 180 grit 
remove all the dust. And here I'm just quickly uh, making sure that the corners are not too sharp. Um, so I've used the 180 degree file and now I'm using the buffer. And as I said, I'm just making sure the corners are not gonna scratch me. Okay, using cleanser, I'm removing the remaining dust on the nail. And from here, that's pretty much done. You either use your, for your favorite top coat or you use your favorite gel polish. Um, in this video I've chose to use my color gel 117 from Ning. As you can see it's very very pigmented. One layer is more than enough. And just like the builder gel, um, you can apply it on four nails at a time without flash curing. And after you finish, then do the uh, thumbs separately. Just making sure there's no color on my free edge, otherwise that's gonna um, uh, chip off. Here I'm using the rubber top. It's a flexible rubber top, no uh, tacky layer. And I'm gonna make sure I'm capping the free edge, curing it for 30 seconds. And now it's time for cuticle oil and that's all done. I'm just rubbing it into the nail and washing my hands. And as you can see, that's my apex, that's my C curve. And my apex or upper arch is parallel to my lower arch. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.